Hey everybody, I am just doing a little unboxing video. I'm on my lunch break and I got a amazing, amazing gift set from Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, especially thanks to my friend Brenda Bush Johansson. So thanks for the connection, Brenda. And uh, so let me show you what I got because I'm so excited. I have a few products that I'm already a fan of. Um, like I had the Soft Glam palette before, but they sent me a new one. So. Thank you. These are really good nudes and neutrals for um, on set, so I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. Also, there's a little bit of pink in them, so you know, sometimes eyeshadows make your eyes look chalky. These are gonna be great. Um, brand new see, uh, Riviera palette. I love that it just feels like, you know, one of those benches in a, like by the pool. Um, this would have been amazing colors. I wish I had this when I was working on Pose, because this would have been such a great 80s palette. Um, excited, and um, oh my God. The Alyssa Edwards palette from Anastasia Burrells. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. I'm excited about this one. Um, I haven't even opened this up yet, so I'm a huge Alyssa fan. She once, Alyssa once called me gorgeous at Bushwig, and I have never forgotten that. So, ooh, okay, that's fantastic. Again, I wish I had this when I was on the team for Pose back when. So, um, gorgeous. I mean, wait, let me just try the payoff real quick. This color looks like Grover only, oh my God, <gasps> work. Okay, well, that's gonna be a dream come true. Um, also the blushes, check these out. So, got really nice warm colors. It's gonna look great on deeper skins. And something I just noted, okay, this would be a really good highlighter on some people too. Like I'll probably use this on Sashir at some point, just like across, Sashir's made it like across her cheekbones, just like, you know, give it a little brightness. This I thought was a really cool idea. Um, because it's like a contour and then like a blush in the middle. Uh, this is gonna be a really good palette. This one is Cocktail Party. I see myself using that a lot. That other one was that. This is Peachy Love. That seems obvious. And yeah, love this. Pink Passion. And it's the last one. Oh, another one. Look, they've got a contour color in there. So it's like contour and highlight all in one. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, guys. Um, what else? I love that sound. Okay, um, one of the best brow pencils ever made. You've got the spoolie on one end, but then it's just like a micro fine um, brow pencil, so you can really draw in like individual hairs, like so fine. And my trick is that when the tip sort of wears down, just take a paper towel and scrape it like that. So don't use a tissue, use a paper towel and then scrape it like that until the until it goes flat. And that way you can use the side edge of the lead and create a really thin line all over again. So thanks guys, that shade is soft brown. I, I use soft brown pencil on like literally everybody. Um, contour kit, <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. I love having this on set in case somebody's makeup needs a bump up. This one, I had one, but in the darker shades before. And then I was using that on the Wiz Live. So I'm excited to play with this one in the lighter shades. And I noticed this one has like an opalescent highlighter on it. So um, yeah, highlight and contour in one. Thank you so much. Um, I've never tried <clears throat> the Anastasia scissors before, but I noticed these are made of genuine steel, which is impressive. They're, they're heavy. And um, look at how sharp the point is on this. Like, do not put this anywhere near your eye unless you really know what you're doing. Like, for the brows. Um, but my friend Michael Clifton was just telling me these are amazing, so I'm gonna put these somewhere safe and uh, be glad to use them. I'll probably use them to clip apart false lashes. And then check these out. These are liquid lipsticks. Never played with these before. I'm excited to try them. Oh no, they're liquid lipsticks and glosses. So obviously I have to try the red one first. Let's see what this looks like. I love that sound, don't you? Oh, work. Look at that. That is amazing. That's almost like Ruby Woo if Ruby Woo was like in liquid form. That's fantastic. What else we got? Um, Brenda was telling me, Brenda's recording, is it Saint Tropez? Saint Tropez? Mm -hmm. This is Brenda's favorite lip gloss. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of like an 80s color a little bit, but it's got like some gold in it and some pink, so it kind of color shifts a little bit. But this would be a really good universal color. I could use that on a lot of people. Oh yeah, hologram. I love hologram. It's like a moonbeam sort of effect. Isn't that what it's called? 
Moon jelly. Yeah. Clever. Clever. What else we got? Okay. Obviously iconic. So here's my thing. Obviously, like, there's a lot of brow gels out there, but the clear one is one, like, they've got one color for everybody. Amazing colors for everybody. But this is the iconic one. The big deal about the clear brow gel, Rosemary Swift taught me about this one years ago. A lot of the brow gels that are out there, or like the clear mascaras, the problem with them is that you, they shine. And so like, if you spend all this time like drawing in extra thick hairs or filling in your brows, and you take a glossy product over your eyebrow, it's only gonna accentuate where you do and do not have hair. So if you're trying to create the look of a really full, lush brow, then it has to be a matte brow gel. So the fact that this one's nice and clear and it's matte, makes it great for every single person. Everybody needs this in their purse or in their kit. Um, yeah, again, lots of really great, these are fantastic. Like color and brow in one. And then this, I first got this one, I don't know when, but it's something that I usually put in my set bag and I leave it there so that I have one um, when I'm working with people and then I have it one at any given moment. So if I just go on set and there's somebody that I didn't see or um, they just need a bump up, I can even use like the black shade as an eyeliner um, and uh, the other shades work great as contours on people's faces. And, you know, it's a really, really, really good product. Everybody needs this. It's a good investment and it's so slim. No like digging through your purse to like find your stuff. So. Thank you, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and thank you, Brenda, for hooking me up, and um, see you guys later.